What's going on? Welcome back to another sample video. In this video, I'm going to be uh, fixing this um, Game Boy, and it's got lines on it. And the reason why I've got like the finished product here is because I recorded it all, went to edit it, and then realised that the intro clip was missing. So I've grabbed my camera and now I'm recording. Um, so the shell is a little bit beaten up you may be able to see there's like a light mark there and just along here you can kind of see it there um the screen lens is all right and all the buttons work but i'm going to be backlighting it with a green backlight as you can see so yeah um quick bit of news i'm going to be uploading a video on Friday the 12th um, instead of Sunday the 14th because the Zelda Game & Watch comes out on a Friday so I'm gonna be uploading my video about it on the Friday instead of waiting two more days so yeah um, that does also mean I'm not gonna be uploading a uh, video on the 14th so yeah but Let's get on with the disassembly. I forget to say, there is some sort of damage on this battery contact here. I don't think it's melted. It looks as if someone's like got their, their soldering iron. This isn't on. It looks like someone's got their soldering iron and just put it there and melted it. And that is why I was struggling to get the battery out. So I might try and like gently with my soldering iron re-melt that or I might just sand it down um, just so it looks a bit better but we can get on with the disassembly so don't actually need to touch this board yet but let's just disassemble this board. so um, this is one of the Game Boys out of the job lot of three that I got for £62 I think it was and I'm not going to be doing anything to the third one on camera because um, all of the Game Boys had lines on them but one and the one that doesn't have lines on it is perfectly working so it would just be me backlighting it and not repairing it so I'm not going to do anything with it so yeah I'm going to undo these and I'll come back and just lift up like that and it all comes out which is good um there's no damage on the screen or the board sorry there's a tiny bit of dirt on it but i won't that off and it looks like it's been used well because there's like the imprint there from the d-pad apart from that it looks pretty good let's put that to the side and have a look at the bottom contacts which is pretty good and that one's also good that's good just take these out and the start and select which is good so this doesn't actually look too dirty um there is marks on the shell along here and along the bottom here so i'm gonna go and disassemble this bottom bit of the shell and then I'm going to go clean it and I'll come back once I've done that. the shell so now we can start the um, backlight process but I couldn't get all of the marks off you can kind of see it there. Um, I don't actually think it's a mark I think it's more of a scrape but um, I can't seem to get it off and I think it's a scrape because it reflects differently on the light so yeah. Right, so to start the back light, I'm gonna fix the lines first actually, sorry, not the back light process. Just put the battery cover on and then connect the screen and turn this on and also just start heating my soldering iron. Right, so if we just peel up on this like that it left the glue behind just get that up it would be easier to use tweezers but i forgot to grab mine i 
think I can just get it up. Put that off. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my soldering iron and just gently start working it along. So there were like one or two lines missing here, which hopefully I can just repair. Start on the other side actually. fixed all the lines, this green is all nice, and yep, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this out, gonna undo the screws here, which hope my bit will fit, which it doesn't, hold on, let me go grab the right bit, and can just undo these two screws here, now we can start the process of removing the film off the screen. Let's try and lift this up. It seems to be stuck on the corner. There we go. Take out that foam bit and also the bit here. Just be careful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my um, blade just put it in between the two layers, like that. Just get myself a small opening, like that. Get a bit of IPA on a cotton bud. a bit more forward so we get a bigger opening just like that and then just do the same on the other side and then what I'm gonna do is just put a bit more IPA in there and then I've got a plastic uh, gift card which is very good for removing the film off these just this it's a nice plastic which I'm just going to use to do this so I'll come back once I've done this and then I also oh, I'm going to tidy this up and then I'll come back once I've done this got it all reassembled and um, now I can put the back part in now the polarizer film that I've got is an adhesive one which isn't the best but I'm gonna put it in, there's like a line over it, um, to mark which side is the adhesive, so you can see this like sharpie, so I'm gonna put this in normally, and then depending on what I choose to have it as, I will then change it now I don't think this is going the best because um because it's slightly darker sorry about that my camera cut out if I touch these two wires here the backlight will light up and it does make it better so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these two wires and then I'm gonna solder them into place and I'll come back once I've done that have a look at this and I've got the film in, or the, the back light lit up. So this is what it looks like without. It looks faint on camera and it is a little faint in person. But it's not that bad. And that's what I would do to buy for to turn it. There, and that's the right one. Um, I don't think I'm going to buy it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all, all of it and then stick down the film and then 
then um, do it. Actually, no. What I'll do is I'll go grab a backlit um, backboard and then I'll come back. Assembled, I've got a um, biverted board here, and that looks pretty good for me. So I am gonna bivert this one. But let's remove that, and then I'm gonna fit this one, and then I'll bivert so it. I stuck the thing down, and now there's kind of like a faint line going along it just see it there it's not like a line of missing pixels because when I get my soldering iron go along here you can see that the lines of missing pixels are just solid like black but this doesn't seem to go so I'm not too sure what that is um, or what I'm gonna do about it because I can't yeah look you can see it there I can't get rid of it which is annoying but don't know what else I can do because my missing line looks like that it's solid black and the bit where the line is, is here on the ribbon cable and I'm heating it up but it's not going so I don't know what to do I'm gonna fiddle around with it a bit more if it doesn't do anything I'll just backlight just buy butter off camera because you've seen me do it before and then I'll show you the finished result it's a little while later because it took me quite a while to um, uh, bivert this because um, I biverted it and then accidentally shorted two of the pins. Couldn't find my solder wick so then I had to remove the bivert chip off to then separate these two pins to then put it back on. So yeah, but I'm finished with it now. I'm very happy with how it looks. I really like this green colour. I might do a couple more Game Boys with a green backlight because this does look slightly more um, original than the white ones. But yeah, um, it is a bit annoying about the line that's there, as you can see it. But uh, I did try to fix it multiple times, but I couldn't do anything about it. So yeah. Um, well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget about the video that I'm uploading on Friday the 12th. So, yeah. Bye.